in this video we're going to try and integrate this we are going to try and, uh, and integrate this now integrating this here is very tough so for this video just sit back and watch okay so um so to integrate this we are going to need to make use of of this and we are going to make use of this so remember when you differentiate tan you're going to get sec squared okay so so we're going to make use of these two so let's try and integrate it so so to integrate um to integrate this let x equals tan theta now the first question is how do we know that we should make this as our substitution? Um, it's only um, it's only after a matter of time before you realize why. But for the time being, you don't know why. It turns out that anything of this form here, anything of the form square root of something plus minus something, maybe squared here, then then you should make a certain substitution. Now this, you will realize this after after some experience. But for the time being, you don't know why we should make this as a substitution. So I'm just asking you to just, for the time being, accept that we should make this as a substitution. Okay, you, you don't know why, but just accept it for the time being. So if you make this as your, as your substitution, then, well, if, if you say let x equals 10 theta, then you can automatically make this statement here. This statement here will be true because, now because of this, this was from uh, from above, so uh, we, we we've seen this before. Now, if you if you look at this, if you square root both both sides, if you square root both sides, you will get this. You will get this. Now, if you make this to be your your substitution, if you put tan theta into into here, then you're going to get tan squared theta. That's this tan squared theta here. And then you've got your one here, you've got your one here, and then you've got your square root here, you've got your square root here. Then you can actually make this statement. You can actually say that this thing here equals equals this thing here. Um, it's kind of strange, but you you um you might have to press the video and, and and really think about it for yourself. If you make this to be your substitution, then you can actually make this. You will automatically get get this statement here. Okay, so uh, so from here you uh, you can differentiate it to give you this. Okay, because because this will become dx, and then when you differentiate tan theta, you will get sec squared theta, and then d theta here. Okay, we we've done this many times, and now substitute back into here. So when you substitute back into here, um, this thing here, put it into the uh, into the into the dx, and then uh, and then you here you're gonna get here you're gonna get tan squared, okay tan squared of theta, and then uh, and then this bit this block here you uh, you can put this uh, sec theta into here, okay. So substituting everything back into here, you will get this. You will get this. Okay, so now um, now we write everything in terms of uh, in terms of cos theta and sine theta. So basically, we just break this this thing here is it's quite complicated. So we're going to break everything everything down into its small components. So it will be this and this. So break this uh, break break this up as uh, as this. Okay, hang on. So uh, so looking at this here, you you, you you've got um, a uh, sec squared here, and then you've got a sec here. So, uh, so this, so in a way, it cancels out. So it will become this. Okay. Uh, so, so this. Well, you got. Well, hopefully you can see. Uh, these two will cancel out. Well, just one here will cancel out. So that will then give you this. Uh, and then now, now visualize this as um, um, visualize visualize this here as one block. Multiplying this block, multiplying this block here, because uh, it, when you times a fraction, it gets multiplied to the top. It gets multiplied to the top, so you can break this up as as this. And then, uh, and then you could ask yourself, what is uh, sec theta? Well, remember, sec is um, secant is really this. Secant is is this. Well, don't forget, cos is this. So uh, 
so so secant will be one over cos will be one so this thing here will be one over cos here and then uh, and then you've got one divided by now visualize this thing here as as this okay and then uh, this obviously stays the same and then uh, and then and then look, looking at this block here looking at this block here you've got one over um, uh, well, let's just look at this block here. So this block here is really sine theta uh, over cos. Uh, hang on, let's let's start again. Sorry. Looking at this here, you've got this squared means uh, means sine theta over cos theta times by itself. So uh, times by itself. So uh, so top times top that would be sine squared theta. Bottom times bottom, that would be cos square theta. Uh, but then don't forget, you still got one over that. So this one here is this, and then this whole thing here now becomes this. So you've got one divided by this thing here. So hang on. So you've got one divided by uh, uh, so you you got one divided by sine square theta over cos square theta. That's the same as one times the reciprocal of that, so that will be cos square theta over sine square theta. And then, well, well, basically, this whole thing here will become, will become, will become this. Okay. So this whole thing here, this becomes this. This here becomes this, and obviously this stays the same. And then, uh, and then it's, uh, it's, uh, and then. This will cancel out with this, and then you still got the squared here. So now, now, now that you're at this stage, let u, let u equals sine, uh, sine theta. Okay, so then du equals this, and and now follow our normal routine. Put this into here, um, and then put the u into here. Okay, so that will then become this. And then these two will cancel out, giving you this, um, giving you this. So now integrate that. That will then give you. That will then give you. Uh, that will then give you this. Now earlier we said let u equals sine theta. So now we we can put it put sine because earlier we said u equals sine theta. So that will then give us um, give us this. Okay. Now what what is this thing here? Well, this thing here. Um, well, remember, sine is this. Um, going the other way would be uh, would be uh, cosecant. Okay, so so that would then give us this. That would then give us this. But then we're we're not done. We're not done because um, so so we've integrated it and it, it gave us this here. But we're not done because if you look at right from the start, right from the start, we we were trying to integrate this here and then we turned it into a a trigonometry problem here, and then by 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 being in the in the trigonometry realm, we can manipulate things um, by using sec, uh, by using cosec, and so on. We, we well at the moment we've got the answer in terms of theta, but we don't want it in terms of theta. We want it in terms of x. Um, so I will continue in the next video. So so when you when you integrate this, and th and then you make um, you make this substitution here, you will get to this. But at the moment, the answer is still in terms of theta. We want it in terms of in terms of x here. Okay, so we are currently at this stage. I will continue in the next video.